Hey, it's Grace. Like I promised, I'm going to show you how to create a Google Calendar, a block, um, calendar blocking is what they call it, in Google Calendar, like mine right here. Um, one, a couple of things before we get into it. The cal my calendar is for my accountability. That's how I'm using it. I get to be accountable to me, which is as in the blog post you read that um, my tendency type is obliger. So I am readily accountable to everybody else, but I had to find a way to be more accountable to me so I can get the things done that I need to get done each and every week. So that I take this um, blocked calendar as my accountability. One thing I want to say is if this is your calendar, plan to stick to it. It makes no sense kind of making the calendar and then not sticking or adhering to it. So for instance, if um, a friend calls and they're like, oh, come for coffee and you just drop everything and go, no, you need to say, well, I'll be free in about an hour when, it, when I'm at lunch or how about tomorrow morning because you know you have time blocked off. So stick to the schedule as much as possible. And the more you stick to the schedule, the more everybody else around you will understand Grace has got a schedule she's sticking to. So you can call and you can ask, but most likely she's going to say no between this time and this time and this time. So that's something to stick to. Another thing, um, I only include my waking hours. I know some people include their bedtime. I include my waking hours and I only do a calendar from Monday to Friday. Um, I try not to stick to a, a schedule for work at the weekend because that's my family time and who knows what we'll get up to. But I definitely stick to whatever I put on this calendar for the week. Um, I like to have a calendar. I did this for a couple of reasons. I needed the structure, but I, it helps me to be organic and fluid, which is weird thinking I still want the structure, but it helps me to, I can able to, I, I am able to move stuff around as needed if the week shows up and I've got lots of stuff that may be outside. I can't help it. I'm going to have to shuffle and move stuff around. Um, I'll show you how to add certain things like I, the things I have on my calendar are personal. And so that's like morning routine and then, um, work. I'll show you how to add a work. And then the other one I have is a free time. And you'll see, you'll see in a minute what that, what this all looks like. Um, I do not choose to get notifications. I don't need to, to, I don't need that. That's going to annoy the heck out of me to get constant notification. Oh, you got to do this. Oh, you got to do this. I am my own scheduler. Um, I can figure out when. Plus, the calendar is actually sitting on my desk under a glass. So it's always present. And I always know, oh, this is the time that I get to edit content. This is the block that I get to do it in. Okay. I think that's it for now. Um, <laughs> oh, one more thing. Be sure before you actually make your calendar, put it down on paper, put down on paper what your week needs to look like. What do you want to do when put also in their regular life? So, for instance, one of the things that I have on my calendar every morning is morning routine. That's for me to get ready for the day and do all the things that I need to do before I actually set foot in this office. So make sure. <clears throat> kind of write up your calendar, just jot down what it might look like. You can play with it as you're making the calendar, but have an idea of what you want to put in the calendar and when. All right, let's go do this. Open the Google Calendar. Um, obviously, be, to be able to use Google Calendar, you'll all you'll have to have a Gmail account. So if you don't have a Gmail account, it's really easy to go and set one up. Um, when you first open the calendar, this is what it looks like. So as you notice, I, as I said, I only work 
my calendar is only set from Monday through Friday and you can change your settings in I think it's here. Anyway, I'm going to add some calendars to this. Right now, Grace is showing up. I have reminders and I have tasks. I don't usually use these because I don't need reminders. I just need to know how my day needs to flow. So I'm going to add a couple of new calendars. And the first one I'm going to add is work. And I'm going to add another one called personal. And I'm going to add one more, and I'm not sure I'm going to use it, but I figure I better, while while I'm here, I'll add it. I might not use it, but anyway. So I've added, if you see when I add them, they all show up here. So Grace is here, Birthdays is here. I'm not going to put Birthdays in this calendar. I, want, I don't want that to show up. Free and Personal and Work. And there you go. There they all are. I'm going to change some colors because I like to show, I like to block them out by um, time frame, but also by color. And you'll see so in a minute. And I'm going to change this to personal to yellow. And I'm going to change work to red. Let's do this red. Yes. I'm going to change free to, hmm. I'll change free to blue. Oh, and I want to add one more. I'm going to add one more. Yeah, I'll add one more. We're going to call this one outside meetings. Okay, let's go back to the calendar. And so we have outside meetings. I'm going to change that to green. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, so what the first thing you want to do is obviously look at the plan you have in place and then add it here. One of the my first things is I am going to wake up at seven and I'm going to do, I call it my morning routine. And my morning routine includes getting up, getting shower, getting all ready, go and get my son ready. So I know what my morning routine is. I just want to put it in place here and I'm going to add that to personal. So it'll show up as that color. One of the things you need to, to do is to be able to repeat a certain um, set schedule before you close out. Let's do this. I'm going to close out. I'm going to save, show you. It only shows up here. I want it to be all across here. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to click this edit button. And so now you see it says do not repeat. That's the standard. I want this to repeat every day on a weekday. I want this to go to 8 a.m. Um, yeah, let's go to 8 a.m. So, so from 7 to 8, I'm going to get ready and do all the things before I get in my office. Part of this also is, I'm going to write a description here, is um, morning pages. I take, I take a little bit of time in the morning to actually write down thoughts that have come in. Um, I usually do this towards the latter end of the time, so I'll probably do, be doing this at the 7.50, 8 o'clock mark, because as I wake up, stuff is going to be pouring in from the previous day, stuff from the what I have to do this day. Um, and I like to have that in my brain before I sit down to write, so I'm going to add morning pages here. As I said before, I don't want a notification of this. I just need to know what's on my calendar. So right now, I'm going to save that. And see how it goes across everything. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, the next thing I do that I want to have in there is I like to, I'm starting this new thing and I want to be on Insta Story in the morning. Sometimes I don't get there, but the plan is to actually be on Insta Story in the morning. So my next block of time, I'm going to add this to say Insta story. So on, I know that this will be some the block of time that I have set out to do. And I'm going to put this under work. I'm going to do something different though. I'm going to go under more options because I need to save this as an everyday thing. And I'm actually going to change the color of this to that color. I wanted to repeat um, every weekday. And 
I'm going to have this at 8 a.m. to 8.15. That's enough. And it's going to be under work. So I'll show you what this means in a minute because you see I just changed the color there. So that's Insta Story. We're going to save that. Okay, so Insta Story is going to be every day. Now you see this bar right here? This bar is showing up as red. So when I know when I see this bar, I know that that is that's actually my work. That's work that I am doing. It's going to be fun, but it's work. The next thing I want to put in is I'm going to start right in from there and I'm going to get to work. And the next thing I have is create content. Now, each day, each evening, I should say, before I um, get to the, before I, before, let's say, I know what I'm going to write, what content I'm going to be writing the day before. Actually, I know what I'm going to write each day because on Sunday evening, I am preparing my week. I know exactly what has to happen every single time. So I'm going to write create content. That's going to be from 8.30 until, what time did I have this? I have this at 10. So, and this is going to be work. And I'm going to go into more options because I want this to be, I had this as blue in my calendar. This repeats, um, this doesn't repeat. So this is just one thing here. So 8.30 to 10.30 and work, I think that's it. Let's save it and see what it says. So again, I know this is a work thing that I'm doing with this red bar and I'm going to create content. Anytime I see blue on my calendar, I know it's me sitting at the computer or with a notebook, I am creating content. The next thing I'm gonna have is, I'm gonna have one of those things that I have to put in my calendar or else I'll forget to do it. And mostly this is because part of this connecting is about going to Facebook. I've avoided Facebook for a long time. I'm not a fan of Facebook. I am an Instagram girl, but I have to, to um, put this in there. Oh, one, wrong one. Um, yes, we're going to do more options. I'm going to put this as a separate color. We're going to put this as orange. It's going to be under work. Um, I'm not going to repeat it because each day, each day of my week is fairly different. So it doesn't need to repeat there. So 1030 to 1045. No, I don't want that at 1030. Yeah, we'll leave that. One of the things I need to show you though, and so for instance, say you don't want all of that to be there. You want to change the time. You see that double arrow right there? You can hold it down and move that. So now you've just changed this time from 8.30 to 10.15. That's because I want this to go up here. And when I move here, let's see what happens. All right, so 10.15 to 11 a.m. No, that's just too much. Let's see what that says. We have 10.15 to 10.45. That's 30 minutes of outreach. That's more than enough. That's good. <laughs> that's more than enough. I don't want to do it that much. Okay, so my next one is... I'm going to come out of there, and I want to see what this says. 10.45, okay. Okay. My next one is I want to add food in there. I am not a person who can eat first thing in the morning. My stomach does not like that. So I know that about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I need to add in some food. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put this as personal. And we are going to change that time. Let's go and change that time. We're going to do... 10.45, or let's just do, um, let's just do 11. 11 to 11.30 is going to be lunch free. We're good there, I think. Let's see what it looks like. Alrighty, so we're good. 
at, and I love how Google does this, 10.45 to 11.15, that's 30 minutes, that's more than enough. More, more than enough. Next set, and see how you just add in blocks constantly? My next set is um, from 11.30. I'm going to, I keep forgetting what I have to do, what I, what the time I have. 11.15. Okay, I'm going to add this to um, go back to creating content because all of my stuff that I create for the following week, I want to get done in the beginning of the week. I want to have written and get it all out. We're going to go to options. We are going to, it's not a repeat, so 1132, maybe 12. I'm going to put this to 45. So that's about an hour and a half. And we're going to, since this is create content again, and it is work. So I'm thinking this is good. Let's see what that shows up as. Cool. So from 1130 to 1235, 1245, I am going to be creating content. Next one. I always have to add this in because I don't necessarily remember to do these things. And admin, I'm going to put admin as green because admin is about my business itself. So I'm going to add it as green. We're going to put this under work, um, does not repeat. And we have this from, oh, we'll leave it for that. Let me see what it looks like. We're going to, there we go. And I have it from, 12.45 to, I'm going to change that to 12.45 to 1.30. So that's 45 minutes. That's more than enough. That's actually a lot. Okay. Next one I'm going to add in is because I have actually had a chance to create content here, I'm actually going to put edit content. Now, edit content for me is either is finishing up what I have to do, what I've created content on, or finding images or creating slides. That's the stuff. Um, finding music for videos. That's what I'm going to do there. This is going to be on the work calendar. And this, remember, anything to do with content is blue. And from 2.15 to, let's do... From 2 to 4.30, um, I'm going to edit content. This is usually where I bring in um, videos, if I'm going to do videos. Also, I should do this. No, I'll leave that there. We'll leave that. Um, does not repeat. We're good. Yes. So, I have a space in there. I don't know why I have a space in there. Oh, I know why. This needs to come. Oh, sorry. This needs to come down. Oh, I know what I have in there. Here, in this space right here, um, let's, let's leave that here. In this space right here, I'm going to actually put a break. This is where I will maybe go outside and walk, maybe um, have a talk with my husband. I'm just going to put a break in there. And that break, <laughs> what do I want? That break is going to be there. Maybe that's, yeah, that looks good. Alrighty. So this is my day. Um, there's one more thing I'm going to add. And I always, I've, I've decided that this is something I want to add. And I call it the wrap up. So this is where I will go in and figure out what I need to get done the next day. Write that on a note. Um, finish writing up my, my um, tally of what I did. Um, prepare something that I need. This is where that wrap up is going to be. And we're going to go in there and change this from 4.30 to 5. Doesn't repeat. I'm going to put this as admin. It's mainly an admin thing. I'm going to put this as work. 
and then we're going to save. So there is my Monday. That is all of my Monday. From here, I'm going to speed up the film <clears throat> so that you don't have to see me do each one of these individually. Okay, so here I've filled out each and every one of the calendars, the spaces on my calendar. This is how my week looks like. Every morning from 7 to 8 a.m., I am going to have a morning routine. Every, every time you see the yellow, this light yellow color here, that's about me. That's a personal thing. On days that I what need to do insta story i have that here um you can see there's two days tuesdays and thursdays where i have a coaching call with my business coach i cannot do an insta story here so insta story will come in someday here sometime in this block of time but i haven't put it in here i probably should go here and put it here we'll have to go in there and change that we're going to change this from 9 30 so that I can go in here and add in Insta story. And that'll be from nine to 9.15. That's work. I'm gonna go into options so I can change that color. And that repeats. But one of the things I tell you, this repeats weekly on a Thursday. I don't need it every day of the week because all the other days are set. But since Tuesdays and Thursdays are different, I need this to repeat weekly on a Thursday. This is an outside meeting. So you see that green here. That's my one and only outside meeting. Um, this here, it says I'm on call. I have a couple of appointments that I have to get out for. Um, to take my son out for, but because they're not on my schedule, I can put on call and I can use this as personal time that I either go and do errands or I sit in and find a coffee shop and sit and work. Um, the only thing I need to add in here right now is more um, connection outreach and I'll put that in later. But you can see that the gist of my days are set. I have content, I have all of this space, all of the blue space is to write content, my blog posts, my Instagram posts, my um, lighthouse letters, all of that is blue. So I know exactly what's happening there. All of my free time is in this light color. So I know that I will be either probably not in the office, most likely doing errands or doing stuff around the house. I have to have time to do that. I have this space here. This is one of those things that I definitely wanted to put in. It's under personal. Um, I need to have some place where I put in the schedule where what all those things that I have set up, all those courses that I um, have purchased over the time, all those um, outs, yeah, just things that I want to learn about. This is the space. I have a dedicated space for doing it on my calendar. And the reason I have all of these calls blocked out in red is because I need to know at a glance when my client calls out. 
Um, I have not. Usually I'll put in here client call at the beginning of the week. I will look at the schedule. And if I have a client call that comes up, I will put actually client and the, their name. But I obviously can't do that here. So I will know at a glance which client I have when. Um, the other thing I want to say is I do do this wrap up. Every day I have a wrap up. And so, for instance, in this wrap up, I will figure out what this content and what I'll be learning and what this content is all about. That's all that is wrap up is closing the day out. Um, I think that's it. Be sure, I have to say, be sure that you know what your content is per week. Lay it out on a calendar if you need to. Put it on post-it notes on a board and have it on you, have it near you. So all you need to do is just go here and fill in what it, it's supposed to be. So that's my calendar. This is what my week looks like. There you go. I hope this helps. Thanks.